Hello everyone. Today I would like to start a new topic that is uh, industry safety control programming. When we talk about the industry safety control, this safety control basically includes the four phases. From my understanding, that is um, evaluation, design, programming, and uh, verification and validation will be tested. So usually when we talk about the evaluation, basically we will use the two safety standards. One is ISO 13A49, another one is IEC 62061. So when we talk about the design, seems like uh, the pictures shown in the video on the right side, usually for the designer, they need to think about to guarantee the safety level. For example, the CO3 or CO2, uh, based on the risk evaluation, what kind of the safety circuit you need to design, you need to follow, can reach that safety level, can guarantee the people's safe. And for the logic programmer, they need to follow this uh, safety design, circuit design, and uh, follow the programming design. And for the VB test, so at the end of the day, so maybe the safety engineering will be involved to do the safety test to validate if the safety function can be guaranteed and the safety level can be reached. So this video will mainly be used for industry programmers. Once we finish the design and turn to the programming wheel, as an industry programmer, they need to totally understand this safety concept and basically follow the safety design and the safety logic to program based on the software and the control system you are using. So the safety project needs the programmer to fully understand the safety theory concepts as well as connect this theory to do the implementation. For example, give you an overall safety system, how to implement this safety system to guarantee the design can be reached, can be implemented. So this video maybe is very useful for the programmer to get the basic concept of the safety control system. So I won't introduce too detail about the IEC standard, but I will introduce the detail how we can program the safety loop. That loop come from that safety join, safety program, and the safety relay. In this series videos, four main safety control system, Siemens, Allen Brownlee, Omron, and the back off system will be involved. And the typical system, I will basically use this cell as an example. This is a very typical robot cell and the typical safety components, that is a safety light curtain, vertical curtain, and a horizontal curtain, as well as uh, the safety door and e-stop button on the main control panel for this uh, turntable and the robot for the safety logic control, there would be a little bit different. For example, for the light curtain, if the light curtain break, the valve control and the turntable control should be disabled. But the actuators uh, in the cell, for example, the robot and the valve bank inside the cell, while it's working, actually, they don't need to care about this uh, light curtain. But if we open this maintenance gate, so once the gate open, the robot, all the wall bank should be disabled. So this is one typical cell has a safety system. And on the right side, that is a one typical control system with a e-stop safety function. For example, on the main control panel, it has a three main button, start button, stop button, and acknowledge button, as well as one e-stop mushroom button on there. So for the e-stop button, usually it has a two circuit loops go back to the safety input module. Once the e-stop is pressed, we will control the safety output to relays to disable the power or stop the output controlled by this uh, safety relay outputs. The acknowledge button usually is used for after the e-stop recovered and released after we hit this acknowledge, the output from this uh, safety output module will be enabled again. Generally speaking, if you ask me what kind of uh, safety materials we can learn, 
if you are a freshman or if you just uh, touch the industry safety control. Personally, I will introduce a couple websites and documents. The first one that is uh, this safety evaluation tool. As I introduced, the safety includes the evaluation, design, programming, and a VB test. So the first step is to evaluate if your design can guarantee the safety requirements, for example, the seal level can be reached. So this uh, free safety evaluation tool, ICT from Siemens, is quite very useful. It's free and you can basically follow this evaluation wizard to evaluate your system. And uh, second, if you have a strong background on the Siemens control background, you can check this uh, application example and search this ID. There are a couple programming style guide here. So especially for the programming guideline safety, it's highly recommend you read this uh, guideline first, even if you are not going to use the Siemens system. But if you have some Siemens programming background, you can read this uh, programming guideline first. From the pure programming style, the safety programming style and the standard logic won't be too much different. However, after all, this is a safety logic. To guarantee it's safe enough and there's no glitches inside, so it's highly recommend you follow this programming guideline. Till here, maybe someone will ask, oh, is that because all the materials from Siemens is very good, it's quite a very useful for the starter? Um, and maybe my answer is no. Usually, the safety documents from Siemens, they are quite professional. That means it's really good, but not quite good for the starter. You know, from the Siemens style, you will have a safety guideline and hardware configuration about the safety and the module, uh, safety module manual, as well as uh, the safety programming manual. There are a bunch of manuals you need to read and build up this uh, whole safety concepts. It's a little bit uh, difficult for the starter. If you just start on this uh, safety control area, I highly recommend you search this manual, application guide, twin safe, that is the backup twin safe system. If you click this uh, application guide, This manual named Application Guide TwinSafe. TwinSafe is a safety system or safety software system from Backup. Their main safety controller that is a EL6900. So from this manual, uh, personally, I really like this style. For example, like this, to implement different safety level. Uh, this level uh, and this standard uh, follow the ISO 13849. So it's category level and the PL level here. For example, if we look at this picture, if your system has a potential high risk and you want to reach the PLD or the PLE, so you need to follow this uh, category number and the PL level for here. For example, this uh, category 4 and the PLE. If we go to here, to implement this uh, e-stop control loop, it combines a safety module, safety circuit, safety programming function block, and the safety relay. It's quite clear shows all the loop, how to design the wiring, how to use the module, how to wiring the module which safety function block you need to use and for the safety relay how we can wear in the safety relay how we can use the, the edm monitoring loop so it's quite clear personally it's highly recommend you can start from this menu application guide to implement this uh, safety level for example 2.4 based on this loop so it introduced how we can evaluate how those uh, safety evaluation value be calculated. 
for example, MTTFD, PFH, and this uh, DC here. So eventually follow this uh, safety loop, um, this category can reach the E level, that is uh, the highest level, and what the value based on this loop, it can reach like this. So from this loop, basically, you know, if you need to implement this E style function, what kind of uh, device, drawings, function block, programming, and relay, how we can use. It's quite clear here. That is the manual I highly recommend you can read that first. So Siemens ICT can be used to evaluate your system. And the programming guide, if you learn some detail about the safety, it's highly recommend you can download some Siemens manuals. And if you are a starter, you can start from this manual, application guide twin safe manual for this. That is for today. In this video, we generally introduced the main idea of the industry safety control. And in next video, I will go through the four main brands, safety control software and the programming environment. That is a uh, Siemens, Alan Brownlee, Omro, and Backoff. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in the next video.